Hi, everybody. This is God Sad for the Sad Truth. Another semester in the books. Just wrapped up uh, the grading, posted the grades of my two courses. This semester, I taught a MBA uh, course, Seminar in Consumer Behavior, and a MSc PhD course, uh, Consumer Psychology and Decision Making. Uh, the students were absolutely wonderful. Uh, you know, as often happens when we typically talk about uh, entitled students and bad students, it's really a minority of students who are like that. But of course, they poison the well for the whole, um, you know, learning environment because you don't remember the 99% of students who are absolutely wonderful, who are there to learn, who don't cause trouble. You remember the ones who are bellicose and belligerent and whiny and so on. Uh, but it's important to take uh, a moment and uh, recognize uh, the, the, the wide range of wonderful students that populate our classroom. I received a, an email a few days ago from a student who was uh, concerned that she might be, uh, she might have disappointed me with her uh, performance on an exam. Again, shows you what kind of humility the student has. And then she wanted to share some positive feedback. So I thought I would read for you here the uh, her her wonderful message. I'll read it verbatim. Uh, uh, of course, I won't identify who the student is. So here we go. Dear Dr. Saad, this is not to discuss with you my grades, but to let you know I take this course seriously and to appreciate the change you bring to my life. Already, uh, this is so rewarding uh, to read because a lot of effort is spent developing the pedagogic material for any course if you want to do a good job. And to know that a student appreciates you in this manner is always very rewarding. I did not have an appointment with your PhD student. Uh, this is to go over the exam, you know, the grader. But I know my exam score is far from good because I almost left 30 points questions empty due to my poor time allocation and English writing speed. I'm responsible for that and I accept the great whatever it is. Look at personal responsibility. Remember the old uh, fundamental attribution error. A lot of people attribute successes internally and failures externally. So if a student does well on the exam, it's because, you know, I'm smart. If the student does poorly on the exam, oh, it's because Professor Saad is an idiot. He was too hard. He was mean. He was uh, unfair, right? Uh, regrettably, a lot of people have this attributional style, but here's a student who takes uh, personal responsibility. It's it's a wonderful and refreshing uh, quality that, that uh, the student is exhibiting. Uh, but I do want to let you know how much I learned from the very interesting courts course. Attach is an example of my notes of papers to show uh, how I went through, sorry, attach is an example of my notes of paper to show how I went through the 80 papers, except for the 76 page paper of week eight. I just read the abstract. I mean, look how honest she is. She's basically saying that she's showing me how assiduously she went through the material, but then is so honest that she sort of quote confesses that for this one particular paper that was a very long paper, she didn't go through the full paper. Uh, so again, it shows you what an admirable set of qualities the student has, though kind of personal. She's referring to the notes in question. I also shared the interesting findings and how the conclusions were reached with my friends. Most importantly, I did gain insights of many everyday phenomenon. Uh, okay, uh, I'm not correcting the grammar here and tend to go with human nature. Thank you again for bringing me a new perspective of seeing the world. I appreciate this spiritual experience. All the best. I mean, with all due modesty, I think you're doing a pretty good job when uh, a student tells you that taking your course was a spiritual experience. And so this was a truly wonderful message to receive from a student, especially a student who had not performed well uh, you know, in one of the evaluative uh, exercises of the course. It shows what an upstanding person the student in question is. There you have it, folks. Uh, yes, uh, being a professor uh, can be very stressful. There are a million demands on your time. But uh, when you see the type of gratitude that students uh, throw your way, then all of the efforts that you might have spent in a given semester working with them evaporates because you're simply happy that they are happy. So there you have it, folks. Hope you're having a good day. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.